Eight lines from the top. Kulhi, the beginning of, the, of that line. The line above it is Azani Royan, the Babylon below it is Hanei Bahamas. Even though we already, so to speak, read this line, but we, we need to we need to really uh, decipher what what it's about. And it's not the first time. Huh? And it's not the first time. It's not the first time we do that. No, it's not the first time. It says that the sign of a kosher of behemoth. What is the sign of a kosher of behemoth? Just cut. What's the translation? Kosher animal. Kosher animal. Yeah. What identifies a kosher animal? The hooves. And? And the chewing? Chew, uh, chew, no, what's with chewing? Chewing yeah. is cod. Yeah, chewing is cod. Yeah. It's we, we have to chew twice. <laughs> it goes, back, <laughs> goes back again. Mmm, delicious. Uh, and and you, and you actually, as a saying, you're supposed to, to learn a Gemara at least twice. At least twice, but yeah, uh, the main thing is, you chew, what's the idea of chewing? Not that not, you, you take it and you swallow it. You, you decipher, you discern what, what it's about. Yeah. Okay, so we know where we have started. Ah, however, so we said <coughs> that the idea that Hashem has of the creation this is what gives it the presence. This is its presence. Ah, however, Behold, this chayus is not in the, sen- in the sense of murgosh, in the sensing of the, of the level of the nivroim. They do not sense this chayus. <coughs> I hope in Mitzvah that we will get to understand the, the meaning of the word chayus as we go through this. <coughs> this chayus, this union that Hashem knows the creation, and He said, knowing the creation is not just a perfunctory, a, a, a and inadvertent knowledge. The reason he knows it is because he wants to know it. The reason he wants to know it is because he likes it. There's something significant in it. And he is a contributor to it. Not a contributor, he is a contributor. It, it, he, he, he places himself into it. This is called chayus. This chayus, the divine presence in the creation, is way above the creation itself. The divine presence is not a created entity, not a, crea- not a created chaos. It's a, it's, a, it's a divine truth. And this chaos is what is imbued in and gives life to the creation. However, he says, this chaos, the Yivroim do not sense it. The Yivroim sense, sense something which is tangible within their, within, uh, at their level. The Chayas Eliki, the fact that Hashem wants them, is not sensitive in Yivroim. Uma Hashem Boba Hemimurgosh. And that which does come into the Yivroim Bemurgosh. In the state of Nurgos, that they actually sense it. Who may me? That comes, and that is a a reflection from the oepnimi. Again, all Bahamim Nurgos, the Nurgos are margish, chayus, 
which means they margage, they sense their own life. They sense the, their own reality. That sensing of their own reality is from the Epinimi. The way Makif is something which is above them. It is the epnimi that they sense. What, what is the epnimi? What does it mean? What do they sense? As I said, the epnimi is also called oir. Oir, the definition of the word oir, means light. Light means something is, is an intangible entity, an intangible, an intangible reality. Which is oy pnimi, that is that is absorbed and is internalized by the creature, by the creation. To have a sense of what this means, we have to take, as I said again, a simple gash mizike demonstration. To remain on this call, press 1. That's me, right? Uh, let me give me a chance. Sometimes you complain you weren't on when I got on. Returning to the conference room. <clears throat> Taking Gashmius at its simplest level. We have one, and then we have one and one. We commonly refer to one and one as two. Now, in, in, in simple Gashmiziki terms, one and one is one and one. Two is a superimposed reference to one and one. It's not part of one and one. Because when you put one and one, each one remains a one. The fact that there's another one next to it doesn't change its own definition. It's still one and one. But we say true, but nonetheless there is such a thing as two. Two is already an oil element. It's a higher perception than than the physical the physical structure of one and one. This two is formed of two ones, which means the two ones, each one is an entity unto itself, a real entity, which is a pnimi, identifies itself. Now, the Gashmi use, as I just said, one and one is one and one. Nonetheless, we recognize that there is a significance to two. This significance of two is what's called oir. This oir is an oipnimi in the sense that it is formed and created by, by taking two entities and, and bringing them together. And essentially, they remain two entities. 
Wait, it's not formed. Oh. Seemingly, it's not formed by joining one and one. It sort of arrives from above. It's a, it's another layer. It's not from the bottom up, or is it? Like we said, one remains separate from one. True. But they are mamshik something that is superior to one and one. Let's not, let's not jump the gun right now. This higher element of said one and one, two, the concept of two, a real two, in other words, two is not just one and one, two is, is, a, is a reality of two. This is what we have in our world. This reality of two is the result of one and one, but in, and it is and it is created. It's brought forth from from one and one, from oipnimi. Oipnimi. This is each and each each entity has its own identity. And it, if it did not have its own identity, you couldn't create two, one to one. So this that we do recognize, two as a reality, is some kind of a of an of a practical combination of pnimi. And the pnimi brings forth a higher element. Because even after you put them together, in the, you call it two, it's still one and one. In order to separate them and take one and one, you don't have to break anything. They remain one and one. But this one and one brings along a a, a, a a greater a greater reality. It's called two. And that's the market, the two? Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. One second. The first thing is, what the Rebbe is explaining. Masha Bob Murgash bin Ibrahim. He is from the Oypnim. I wanted to, to identify what is meant by Oypnim. If it is one and one, it's not oil. It's a mitzvah of 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 of, um, of one and one. If we say that there is an oipnimi, this means that even though you are taking individual entities, something of an oil quality surfaces, materializes. And we, in our worldly thinking, have no difficulty in referring to one and one as two. It seems quite a real, real reference, even though, in, in fact, it's one and one. Except this one and one bring a new oil, a new a perception a person walks on two feet now bear with me in this are we leaving the arithmetic no, we'll, go, we'll go back I mean, we'll go back 
just not really getting what we're meant to have seen inside the arithmetic. For starters, the arithmetic, the point of the arithmetic is this. I know you would, is that when you say one and one, you say two. Two is not just one and one. Two is a concept unto itself. Okay. And it's created Fine. created by a panini. Well, that, right. That last point, it's created by, it didn't seem like it was from below, namely the two individual items. It seems like it's done by us. That is, we somehow merit to put put them into yeah, a new but level. Yeah, but we have a haggish it, it, It's real to us. Fine. Okay. The items so, remain themselves. Well, we just, just one second. Okay. Let, let me just say this. When I say Sholem Aleichem, yeah. if I say the word Sholem and I don't say Aleichem, have I said said anything? <coughs> yeah. But what did I say? You didn't direct it to the person. But okay, so I didn't, I, that, I didn't finish. Okay. So everything you say consists of a minimum of two words. So if, if you don't have time for the second word, then I cannot make a statement. One and one is one and one. Let, let, let's let's refocus. But let me say, let me say, there is something. To remain on this call. Press one. There's something of oil quality, oil. That is murgish ben Okay. That is sense in nivroi. In other words, it's an, it's an, it's an, a level of the nivro, and yet it's a highest. It's a level and a, a, a life element. Even though it's a Nibra, it's a, a tangible entity. So I, as I said, a, a, a means to demonstrate that is one and one. One and one are two independent entities, completely of, of, of a physical, worldly uh, base. And yet, when you take these two and put them together, they form they form an entity called two. This entity of two is 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 the result of two independent individual uh, tools, entities, which means it is oipnimiter. Gash means like a, a, a base completely, and yet. It is two. Two is already a concept. Two is already a, a, a Ruch is like a concept. This Ruch is like a concept of two. This is the, the great thing that Rabbi is saying. That can be sensed in the Nibroi. Murgish ben Nibroi. Okay, and, and that means in Sechel Adam, not in the apple and the orange sensed by a human being. The two, the, the entities remain independent. We put them together. We sense their union. Do they stand because we sense them or because they stand? Yeah, but is this, is this one and this one now two because they sense it or because I call them two? They're two because they're... No, I'm saying, but they, these two... Different, that's because they're leaning on... No, no, two, even they're even they they're lying independently, there's some... There's some... Fine, which is Some not, correlation which, there. Okay, I'm just I'm just trying to be clear. They're not... They are not Murgash. We're Murgash, their correlation. But they are yeah? them, their, their correlation from a Gash music perspective. Fine. Okay, but there's nothing in them themselves. It's we are sensing. Okay. They, 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 they're, not, they're not sensing anything. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. And fine. But Got we it. are managing them from a gash music perspective. Got it. Okay. That's fine. what they'll be saying. Uh huh. Pnimi gives you a hergish in a yinech muchayes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. In and on the nivra level. Thanks. On the nivra level.
<coughs> I started bringing it uh, yeah, after uh, this is just a a a, 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 a <coughs> fundamental introduction. Started giving a, a, a higher level of the same of the same demonstration. We walk on two feet. Now these two feet, we could say, these two feet are two independent feet. This one is holding up this side, and this one holding in this side, and they they switch off. Stand on this leg, stand on this leg. But this is not what actually happens. We walk on two feet as if they were one. They're completely, perfectly co coordinated. It's an amazing thing. You ca you're moving your feet on a constant basis and very rapidly, and they don't they don't they don't uh, hit one another. They don't stumble upon each other. Because there is, there is a cognizance on the Gashmi level that they could that two can also form a unit of two, and they're in perfect harmony with each other. All I want is to explain the words of the Rebbe. And the Rebbe says, "Mashu Bob Murgash Pnimi, Bob Murgash." This is Mamish Murgus. We feel perfectly confident, perfectly solid on, our, on two feet, not because one is is taking the this, this lack of the other. You, you fall or fall, or, but they're, they're one entity with two. This is highest, and it's Borba Murgus. Chayus is 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 a is a, is a, is a kind of a superworldly um, a sense, and yet this is this is sense at the at the world the perfectly world on the epnimi level, a mamol mulvish. This is what makes the, the, the world a real world, the opening. Let's continue now inside. Hare, however, behold, Bahamas in truth. Call Hagilu Yimaham Shokas the Hoipnimi. All Giluim, all expressions, and all Ham Shokas and all supports. That is in the Oipunimi, Hakoil Hu Mehoi Makif. It is really all from the Makif. It is the Oil Makif that gives a sense of, of, of meaning and value to the Oipunimi. And this is why the Oipnimi has the union of Chayas. Even though, as we said, it could be Chayas on the Oipnimi level, but that is it, that itself is the reason that it's Chayas on the Oipnimi level is because it's sourced, sourced in the Oipnimi. It is all from the Oymakiv. Let's go a little bit further and then we'll allow ourselves to delve into that. Ukmation is boy the yilpe the Zion Bayh of Zion. As we explained earlier. We explained there like this. The Sharash Rais. The roots of the Oymakiv. 
where the root, the oiris, oiris refers to the individual oiris that are in Slavish and Kaili. Chochm bina badaz, chesed gvuna tefaris. Each one of these oiris has an individual meaning and function. But it's rooted the roots of this oil is, are the Asesphiris Agnusos, the Asesphiris that is concealed within the source, within the Alokos itself. Who and that those those roots this is referring to this is what the oil this is when the oil in soif oil in soif that's which is superior to world sheer he had estimated within himself or, or measured within himself to give forth light and give forth a sense in a middle ghoul man. We're not finished yet, just let me finish a few more words and then we'll get back. Shezeho Bechinas Malchus de Yisayf, which is the union of Malchus de Yisayf. Shir Biyatsme, he, 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 he conceptually defined within himself, Lahoyir, to express himself. In a in uh, in a middle gvul manner, in a measured manner. Shazel bechinas machod inside. This is the union of machod inside. What this is saying is as follows: Malchus, I think we already discussed in brief. Malchus is a is a is a special a special type of of, of a of a expression. We explained the difference between a melech and a moishel. We said the moishel is a, is a manager. And each thing that he manages, each in, in, uh, entity that he manages, is an individual ent- entity. He manages it within um, uh, in, on their level. He does not contribute to their to their being and to their richness. A melech is a different thing. A melech is one who provides significance to all his subjects. Like we said, a moishel, he's in, he, he's focused on on obedience, and, 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 and obey the command that I gave you. A melech, he encourages his subjects to be innovative, innovative, to be innovative, to bring forth their own initiative, because they're his subjects; they represent him. He encourages them to come forth and bring forth the entire, the full impact of their own realization. That's why it's called spheres. Spheres means lights. Each entity is a light unto itself. That's why what's called spheres? The oiras are called spheres. Or oir. I'm saying, how did that relate to what we were pointing out about Malchus and Moshe? A spheres means a, a Moshe refers to, 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 his, to, his, to, to his entities as entities, as a, as a, 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 as a number. Mm. 
But a melech refers to it in in a, in a true sense, in true form. The melech has a far truer sense of what he's dealing with. And he he gives him provides them he provides them with the true meaning. Mm. He gives him and he gives him an exchivus, a real presence. Uh huh. And the manager is engaging just for the sake of some short-term, medium-term goal. Whatever well, it is, he's, he's got a job to 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 do, so he, he manages them. The king has a vision. The king king has has a spirit. He inspires mm. them. Okay. Right. And that that's acceptable, right? No, I'm saying. That's great. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. As a result of this machus, the the individual sphere, the individual koyach, has a chayas in it. Therefore, the oy pnimi is from the oy makif. As you said, this is that the essence of everything. Oyrein soif shir beatzma lohoi. Oyrein soif shir beatzma had identified within himself lohoi in the middle gvul. So even though he comes out as a middle gvul, but this middle gvul is something which which originates in the oyrein soif in the makif. What is the what is the difference between makif and pnimi? Makif means that it is due to its reality. It is due to, due to the principle that it stands for. The pnimi is due to the, the tangibility to its to its existence. Like we said, the melech looked at his subjects as real entities. A Moishe looks at them as entities, as 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 uh, individual, uh, as a pieces of uh, a pieces of metal that need to be managed. The point which I'm trying to emphasize over here is that the Oipnimi individual creatures, no matter how individual or how limited they are, so the Oipnimi and so forth, there is an intent from the from the Makif that they should be. They're not there by default. 